Hey everybody, welcome back. What's up here? Uh, Dallas Stone here, and today uh, I'm just gonna do a quick video, kind of just I'm modeling this axe. This is a new kind of side personal project I'm working on. I've been modeling it, and I kind of just want to go through some of. Um, so I kind of already did like a quick little layout of it, and so now I'm just kind of gonna go through tweaking it a little bit so that I'm more happy with um, with it and making it ready for ZBrush so uh, so pretty much the plan for this axe is I'm just gonna do one side of it and then I'm just gonna duplicate it uh, and mirror it to the other side so there's a few things that you kind of have to keep in mind when you're doing that and I'm gonna try and go through those steps as much as I can and uh, kind of show you guys like errors that you might hit when you're modeling and how to kind of combat those things so uh, first things first is I need to just go in and start mirroring these pieces because I have them all into different pieces uh, let me just quickly kind of show you guys the, the concept again and this concept was uh, from the Blizzard Entertainment art book that I purchased a few a few months back and um, I saw it, I was flipping through the pages again, just getting inspired, and I was like, holy cow, this axe is so cool. And I wanted uh, this side project to be focused more on helping me improve in my ZBrush skills and just being in ZBrush again and sculpting uh, as much as I can. So model in Maya, put it into ZBrush, sculpt it, bring it back into Maya, make a low poly version of it, uh, that matches if the silhouette has changed then I need to adapt with the new high poly into Maya uh, so retopologizing is what it's called when you have to redo the silhouette redo the shape of the low poly and then bring that low poly and the high poly into substance painter to bake the normal map and then do the texturing and substance painter after that then we go into Marmoset or Unreal. I haven't decided yet. It's been a really long time since I've been in Unreal, so I feel like maybe it's worth me going through that step and showing you guys how I do that step. But we'll see. Uh, also, I'm going to be doing kind of like a, I'm going to try this new style of YouTube video or a new style of video where I'm going to kind of go through some of the steps and, and kind of show you guys my thought process right uh, and then once I start to feel like okay it's gonna become pretty like it's gonna become rinse and repeat rinse and repeat rinse and repeat I'm gonna say alright guys I'm gonna just jam and what I'll do is I'll just time-lapse the video and then when I f feel like I'm ready for the next step I'll uh, untime lapse it get to the end of the video uh, kind of do a little quick recap and then end the video there and then I'll kind of continue that process through this asset as much as I can that way uh, you guys get the valuable information right away and then if you guys want to kind of see um, the, the, the process or the, the, the progress you see that quickly without me kind of going over the same thing over and over and over and over again and that also doesn't tire me out because I find sometimes when I'm doing these videos it tires me out when I just keep saying oh yeah I pulled the vertices here edges here I screwed here honestly at this point um, you guys probably don't need me to kind of hold your hand uh, that far and if and if you guys do and if you guys do need that let me know in the comments section and then I'll adapt my next videos and stuff like that for future all right, so let's get let's let's just get rolling here. So I'm gonna go here. So I have kind of like the shape down, um, like I said earlier. Now it's just mirroring it and seeing how it looks. So let's see. So let's see. So we need to so the x axes, uh, negative x axes. So let's mirror that. All right. Okay. So that doesn't look that bad. Let's see. We'll do the same here now right away I don't like the teeth so I think I might need to go actually go back and kind of reshape the teeth but for now let's just quickly let's 
just quickly do that. Okay, so first off, this horn is actually not supposed to be like that. This horn is probably... I'm going to angle it. It's probably supposed to be kind of like that. Like shoved into the skull of the of the weapon and this is not how you're supposed to do it obviously this is me just kind of showing you guys what it probably looks like or should look like and so if I go so I'm assuming that's probably what it's supposed to look like um, but I can already tell that this changes the shape quite a bit of the weapon Supposed to look like that, <clears throat> and let me just quickly see here. So the eyeball is kind of right here. So I just want to make sure that I do have some space. Okay, yep. So I do have some space there, and I'll probably just end up doing that in ZBrush. Now this horn, though, is going to cause lots of issues. So it's kind of figuring out how do I create this horn inside the shape because I, it has to mirror to the other side, right? So I might need to go and either one shrink this like that a little bit more. which I might have to do. Gonna shove this in a little bit more. Or this is less so on an angle. So I'm just going to rotate these or and it's more like that which might work better and I kind of just move this out a bit more yeah that might have to be the case here so okay so yeah so sometimes you kind of have to do some problem solving the concept kind of gives you the idea now obviously the now it doesn't fully match the concept and that's okay because Sometimes when you're working in games, you're not going, not everything is going to match, right? And you have to adapt. So that's re that's really, really important, <clears throat> especially when you're working on a game team. Um, I'm just going to turn off my webcam here. So I'm still not too happy with this. So let me just turn off the image plane. So I have all of this duplicated, um, this is duplicated, okay, yeah, so this is essentially a mirrored version of the axe, it looks cool, obviously um, there's some issues here with some of the mirroring, so I think so far it looks decent, the issue is still the horn, so honestly if I just kind of fix up this horn, I fix up and start grouping these into different shapes so that it's easy for me to sculpt in ZBrush, like into different parts. Uh, that's kind of what I'll kind of show you guys. Um, so what am I going to do with this horn? This horn is really bugging me. What I can do is I can continue to round this off a little bit more. And do that. What I can do is I can move these vertices. So yeah, so at this point I have to just make this work. And the concept is not the concept is not working for this asset. <clears throat> 
Right, so now you now it comes now you get the problem solved. So I'm gonna need this to go like that. So it's, so it's problem solving time. And I might have to change how this asset looks. I might have to change how this jaw is gonna work. And I'm gonna turn on geometry. Uh, so turn on geometry on the X axes so that when I move this it's gonna move the other side as well and I'm just gonna do so this is a five-sided so I just got rid of that vertice there just going to go like this and then bring these down and even bring it upwards for or forwards. Just gonna do that. So yeah, so now it just comes down to how do I make this work for this asset, right? And I might have to shove these vertices in into the skull here. <laughs> and I'm just gonna hmm I'm gonna move these back actually and what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take this cheekbone I'm not gonna move it out I'm actually gonna move it out there we go so I think that's gonna work a little bit better but I still want to make sure that this doesn't compromise the shape. So I'm going to move this out a bit more. Kind of give it a little bit more better geometry flow. And um, I'm noticing that there's this weird five-sided poly there. And there we go. I think we solved it as best as we could here. And this is rotated at 15 degrees. If I was to mirror this... There you go. So I think that solved the problem there. Um, yeah, and then now I just have to go back and kind of clean up a lot of this geometry that's not matching up. So, so yeah. So from here, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do that. I'm just gonna do a quick time lapse of me kind of fixing up the asset, getting it ready for ZBrush. So, uh, so yeah.
all right so uh this looks like this is now a lot more ready to go into uh zbrush now um hopefully it is i'm not 100 percent. i still gotta go and mirror all these and then we'll see how it turns out um it definitely has a lot more geo now so it should turn a little bit better but something tells me that I'm gonna have to go in and re topologize a lot of this stuff. So, um, uh, so yeah, um, yeah. Uh, hopefully that was helpful, and uh, you know, let me know what you guys think about the new format. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys again next time.